Joining me now is Edward Tian, co-founder and CEO of GPT Zero. Edward, welcome. So you're a journalism minor along with your computer science major. I love that. How much did that factor into uh, your desire to figure out what's accurate and genuine and what's not? Oh, uh, it was absolutely everything in terms of I was on the computer science side doing research with Microsoft, with Princeton's natural language processing app on detecting AI. But at the same time, I was a journalism student. I was taking classes with amazing writers, like New Yorker writers, and everybody was like, wow, like we got to figure out a way to preserve the value of writing. And I previously worked for the BBC as a journalist too. And mm. we were like, oh man, this is going to change the industry. There so, was definitely a combination of the two. So last week, end of last week, there was an agreement brokered by the White House, informal agreement between the likes of Microsoft, Meta, and others to abide by certain principles and actually reveal when things are AI generated. Um, that seems difficult to do, though. How do you see it? Yeah, it's a very difficult thing to do. The other key point is, are the really big AI companies incentivize themselves to invest in building the safeguard because their business is not detection, it's generation of AI. And what you see is some of the AI community actually coming to uh, outside startup like us, GPT Zero, and say, wow, maybe the big companies aren't incentivized to do it. Maybe we need a third party to be able to build these new technologies. I can imagine a scenario where either built into a device's operating system, built into a browser, you have something that changes the color of something when it was AI generated to sort of, you know, uh, using that intelligence in the background to let you know that perhaps this piece of text uh, was not generated by a person. Why is this important, say, for investors to think about, not just in the stocks that are going to do well at AI, but, you know, information flow and accurate information is so important to investing. How might AI jeopardize that? Oh, well, it's definitely critical for investors or anybody to know, because let's say you're trading off your Bloomberg terminal and now a uh, re recent investigation used GP0 to identify over 500 sites using AI-generated news. Now, these information and pieces are more prone to making up facts. If you trade off false facts, that's costly to your business. That's critical. So then there's an incentive for people to know the truth, not just uh, a moral incentive, but also a business sense as well. So what is your, your moat? What is your vision for what the core IP is for GPT-0. I mean, this is, this is a tool, it's gotten popularity, but how are you thinking about the way you want to build a company on top of and beyond that? Yeah, well, what we have now is integration everywhere in terms of we work with Microsoft to be integrated into Microsoft Word, where you know, we have the extension to be able to detect text that you consume on the web, on your emails, but the future is not just the detection side, what we're building is a live tool for people to prove that they wrote something and verify that they wrote something. And a tool for, frankly, the future, a lot of people are using AI to write, but instead of just letting people write wildly with AI and not citing it at all, how can we make a new platform that incorporates detection, but also verification in terms of, I'm sending you information, here's proof, here's a video, here's everything where every where ChatGPT was used and where I wrote it myself and to preserve the human aspect in writing. So that's what we're building. Next. Do you envision using AI to catch AI, to, to identify it, or even as an interface in a generative way for, so for people to be able to say, hey, can you tell me you know, which of these pieces of content have a higher likelihood of being AI generated and, and actually being able to answer back in a, a conversational generative way? So right now, the generative AI models can't do that. You know, ChatGPT is not programmed to do that. However, yes, the same technologies we're going to use to be able to enhance AI detection. In fact, if you looked at a lot of our investors, they came from an AI background, Altman Capital, Stability AI, because they recognize this whole industry of generative AI actually needs a detection layer 
because if you train new models, you can't be using you know AI text to train your new models. That's going to screw everything up. So there is a lot of uh, overlap between the detection and the generation technologies. A lot like cybersecurity that way. Edward Tian, uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me.